Greetings, everyone. Today we are going to revisit the bottle cage hoagie video. We had some comments on the last video that said the sandwich looked rather Spartan, and I do agree. Today we're going to show you what it looks like when we make one of these sandwiches for our own rides. And incidentally, the sandwich is called the Lindsay, after Lindsay Wagner, because a long time ago I used to make these sandwiches for lunch while watching the Bionic Woman. Let you know how old I am. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have here. First thing is the bread. Now, bread is very important, and what I really like is to get the bakery rolls from the supermarket when they're fresh, and you can see how soft and squishy they are. It just makes an excellent sandwich. We have uh, here some ham, some salami, some provolone, some Swiss, some chopped onions, and some lettuce back here. Uh, we're also going to be putting on uh, some vinegar, some balsamic, uh, some mayo, some mustard, salt, pepper, and olive oil. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is put on some balsamic vinegar. You got to be careful with this stuff because usually it does come out rather quickly. And I like a lot of vinegar on my sandwich, so I'm going to put some on both sides, a little on both sides. Then on one side, mayo. Now if you're going to be out in the heat for a really long time, like four hours in the heat before you eat, you might want to skip the mayo. Otherwise, I think you're fine. Let me get a little more of that. Okay. On the other side, we're going to go with the mustard. Now the vinegar and the mustard have kind of a similar vinegary taste, so they're going to double up on each other. Let's see, uh, I'm going to put the onions first on this side so they kind of stay in one place. And of course, if you don't like onions, skip the onions. The Swiss. Provolone. Okay. We've got ham, some nice ham. I'm getting hungry looking at it. That's a good sign. And some salami. This is some nice Genoa. Okay. Now, lettuce. I like a lot of lettuce on my, my subs. And this keeps remarkably well in the bottle cage. It doesn't seem to be any problem. A couple hours, three hours. Did you mark that uh, salt and pepper? In oh, I forgot the salt and the pepper. Sacrilege. And the okay. olive oil. Oh, yes. I'm just going to salt and pepper a roll here so it all kind of stays put. Same with the olive oil. A little spray. These olive oil sprayers aren't too effective. That's enough. Okay. And there you have it, an official Lindsay. Let me see here. Another thing I normally do is cut it in half like this. And that, you can tell how soft that bread is, how good that's going to taste. Look at that. That is, that is amazing. And now we are ready to get it all set up to work in a bottle cage. So you can actually take it on your bike ride or your trike ride. Okay. Again, this isn't brain surgery, but it's incredibly effective. And actually, the gooier your roll is, the better it fits in the bottle cage because you just squish it in there. And I've never had one fly out of the bottle cage, and I've been doing this about three years now. Okay, there you have it, all ready for the bike or trike. Okay, here is a sandwich tucked snugly in the bottle cage, ready to be eaten, and the proof is in the pudding, so let's take a look. Mmm. That's really good. The bread really makes all the difference when you have that spongy, gooey, fresh bread. 
You can't beat that. Mmm. We'll see you next time, folks. Happy riding.